In the last episode, you saw us get all of the framework done, lay the astroturf and install our decking. In this episode, me and dad put the top of the pergola together. Ellen accuses me of cheating. But I don't do my makeup in this car. We get our patio slabs laid properly and we add the finishing touches to our garden. Welcome to the final episode of our garden renovation. Welcome back to episode four of our garden renovation series. It's getting serious now. We are getting there. In this episode, we're going to be doing the... Oh, your oats are ready. In this episode, we are doing the finishing touches to the... Du I can't talk. I can't talk. Basically, we're finishing the garden in this video. <laughs> you hold it then. Right? Can you hold it? or will you... Well, I, my arm is hurting a little bit. Come on, let's go. Ready? No, we're not doing it again. No, we're not doing Come it on. again. That's fine. Okay, and if that's not good <laughs> enough, that's not good enough because we have done this five times now. Come on. Do so, you like my trim, by Fab's... the way? I got a oh, haircut. yeah. Fab's had a haircut. She actually uh, fancies me again now. Oh, she... yeah. Fab's parents are on their way over again. All of the decking has been done. Mm -hmm. All of the grass has been done. Yeah. So the top of the pergola is going up today. You can show <laughs> my flower beds. You've seen them. It would have been... No, no not finished. Well, you didn't show and finish. We just got to add some compost now and yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. This is going to be finishing touches and we've got all of the decking done. We, we're today... No, 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 that's it. That's it. Right, time for oats. Today, my... God, you're so loud. Today, my parents are coming to help me out because Elle is jetting off to go and see her I'm friends. Go see my friends. <laughs> you're going to a beer garden, beer aren't you? Garden. So whilst I'm doing the graft, Elle's off. Oh, here Having he some goes. Fun. Here he goes. Like, I haven't been doing anything. I'm no, 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 I'm joking. I have I made am joking. all of the garden furniture myself. I have made all of the flower beds myself. I've weeded and weed guarded all and of the garden. why is that? Why is that? Because I've been working and you've been on half term. Still, I could have... Once Ellen cleared off, we got to work on the pergola. So the first thing we did is measure each of the uprights to see which was the shortest. And then we used a string line and a level to make sure it was level the whole way round. Dad then whipped out this technical looking thing. What was it called again? Um, Precipitating sort. Looks complicated, Dad. What does it do? It just goes back and forth, basically. That's it. Oh. So whilst Dad fired up the precipitous the saw thingy, I had the important job of hugging the post to make sure that they didn't shake in the ground and I got absolutely covered in dirt. <laughs> Once we had all of the posts cut, we then measured the front piece, shaped the ends of it and drilled the holes for the bolts. Right, we didn't film that because it took all three of us, but we've managed to get the first beam up and clamped in place and nice and level. Now we've got to drill it in place. Dad then used a massive drill bit to go right through both bits of the wood and then he countersunk the outside to make sure that the nut and bolt doesn't stick out and it sits flush against the wood. We then sandwiched the back piece on and moved on to the back of the pergola, repeating the exact same process as what we did on the front. done the front and back now now it's for the side so there's two going on either side of the there same on that side and then i think we're gonna have one in the middle but we'll figure that out but it's looking really good before starting the sides i got a lesson from my parents on how red kites use warm air to rise what? higher in the sky why can't it just fly higher you learn something new every day we then laid the wood down on the side and marked where the notching would go so notching is basically cutting out little slots for the wood to sit nicely on the beam below it it can get quite technical but luckily i had the help of my dad and it ended up looking amazing yes the final piece of the pergola was notching the center bits because we couldn't decide whether we wanted it open or not we haven't secured these in place we just left them there and we will decide at a later date but comment down below and let us know what you think this was pretty random but a cool moment in the day we looked up in the sky and saw tons of paragliders there was like 10 of them it was really weird look at them all i can't believe how many there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's 10 of them. Finally, we had to flip our back gate around because previously it opened inwards. This was actually really fiddly, but we got it sorted in the end. So it's the next day now, and we've just finished giving the house a clean. It's much better now that we've got the stuff that was in here from the shed, back in the shed. So we've been able to clean the house a bit. And I need to show you these things, right? Because my mum bought them for me. And when she gave them to me, I was like, they're a bit of a gimmick. I'm not going to use them. But they are incredible. They're little 
slipper mops, right? You chuck these on your feet like that, spray down your cleaner. Bob's your uncle, you scoot about like this, like Bambi. It actually is insane because you can get in the corners like that, nice and easy. Get anywhere you want. So I'll put a link in the description box. I'll find out where they're from because you've got to try them out because they're actually a lifesaver. Ah. What? That's not you. Must be. I don't sit there. No yeah, way, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you saying then? I've had other girls in the car. Well, I don't know, Fab. Here you go. Captured that on camera. Ellen's accusing me of having girls in the car. Well, well, I don't do my makeup in this car. Well, this must be you because no one else goes in there with makeup. Maybe it's mud. You're really accusing me of this. Do you know what it is? In my dream last night, we were in a mansion and um, Fab was, we were staying in a hotel room. My hotel was number one and Fab went to stay downstairs with a girl with curly blonde hair and wouldn't come and stay with me and was sleeping in her. Yeah. So now and you're... I was crying on FaceTime and your mum was shouting at you saying, Fab, stop it, you're being horrible, go and sleep back with Ellen. <laughs> and she was being really nice to me. Why do you keep having these dreams? I'm not cheating on you. You tell me! You know I can't lie. All the bo My body language just gives it away. I okay? didn't I could you. never be a murderer. I could never be a criminal because they would. I'd just crumble. You just don't have the facilities to cheat with either. What's that mean? Well, I don't have the facilities to cheat. Yeah. I don't know, you just do I don't have really the... good girl skills. <laughs> well, I got you, didn't I? Yeah, but so... I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what, guys? I went to the pub last night and I didn't drink. And now I feel fabulous. You had one drink. She put you had a nine pound one. cocktail. Oh, it was awful. I paid nine pounds for what a porn it? star martini, right? And one, it didn't come with the passion fruit, and two, it didn't come with the prosecco shot. Well, it was literally dreadful. Out. It was literally just like some. We're off to do a tip run because we've got loads of crap from the garden, so the car is like completely loaded at the moment. So we're going to go and do that. Then we're going to the range because we're going to go and look for some <clears> stones, aren't we? And some flowers. And, and some, some flowers. Soil. And some soil. It's nice that shops are open now. We, we went out the other day for a bit. This is getting very vloggy and it's meant to be a garden update, but I guess people like that, don't they? Yeah, you got you... a fab has a phobia of long videos. I don't anymore. Comment below and say, long videos, fab. Let's all start protest, okay? No, no, I know, but listen, because I'm a, this is my protest, explanation. Protest, protest, protest. This is my explanation. We will stand up for our right for long videos. <laughs> Look at the queue to get into the tip. Oh my god. We are gonna be here. We're gonna be here for a while now. I, know, I think, I know. aren't we? What's the time now? It's quarter, quarter past, past 11. 11. Let's see how long it takes us. There's a quite a big queue. And we're in boys and girls. It's 11.30. What was it? Quarter past, did we say? Yeah. 15 minutes. I don't feel like I can see you with my glasses on. We had a selfie session. Ellen took about 700 yep, takes. About 100 pictures we came here once right it was absolutely tipping it down and what did we what were we getting rid of like a a bloody printer anyway i was driving and fab was in the seat and bit, there was no spaces so i like pulled up and literally fab just got out of the car and just chucked it into the it was in the um, right thing it was in small small appliances, appliances right and this man like literally ran over to us and was like shouting at you wasn't he was you're like, fly tipping you're fly dipping you can what get, are you doing you you're can, gonna get a fine yeah i was like what you're mate i'm at a skip we've also found these look for outside so they've got a mixed one with like white and gray and then they've also got some small white ones i think i prefer these out. spin around trev ready to see all of that in there and there we go we still need some more yellow plants so we're going to the other garden center lunchtime el's got chicken chow mein i've got ham and cheese with a bit of salad cream and i've also got these to try prawn cocktail quavers never seen them before hmm this feels weird oh right. good aren't they mm. But these are hands down my favourite crisps. Flaming hot giant what's its. We should have got two of those yellow ones. Oh, we can go back. Right, come on. Give us a tour of what we bought. Okay, so first we got some of these 
plants from the range. Yeah, the white ones. Called petunias. Petunia, I think. Petunia. 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 <laughs> I, I got a clue. I don't know anything to do with plants. <laughs> then we've got these ones. We're going for yellow and white, aren't we? Yeah, white and look. yellow to go in here. And Fab got some of those little tiny mini daffodils. Oh yeah, look, because I'm Welsh and this is my bit of Welsh in the garden. Even though they're not actually daffodils, they're... But they look they, like daffodils they look and we like couldn't them. find any daffodils because I don't think it is daffodil season anymore. No, are they die now. We went for those flamenco stones and we got five so, bags, six. five, six bags. So you which, left one in the alleyway because it dropped off. From the range, we got these two grey pots, which are really nice. Don't know where they're going to go. Don't know what's going to go in them yet, but we'll figure that out. It's a trowel because we're amateur gardeners and this is actually our first. No, we bought a spade. So that's our we second. We did, but it broke. Yeah three bags of compost to go in here so these stones are going down that side down that side and all the way along here and then there's going to be soil all along here and then the flowers in here Now for this section, I don't know if we have enough stones, but we'll try and do a transition. Ready? Boom, there we go. Look how good that looks. I'm so glad we went for this one with a bit of color in because it reminds me of the beach for some reason. I think it's just like because of the, all, all the different colors, but that looks so good there. Now for the final side. Absolutely buzzing with these stones. It now adds this like, line of sight by the way if there's any gardeners watching now that want to give us some tips on how to keep these alive <laughs> feel free to flowers have all been planted now and they are looking great we've got our little pots as well some flowers in stones are all in i've just given the grass a brush and it looks great excuse the clothes washing so next time you see us we will be getting these slabs fitted down Good work. That's, that looks way better now, doesn't it? Looks way brighter. Yo, it is Thursday lunchtime and I have popped on my lunch break to home base. I never know where to look when I'm filming on the iPhone. Is it here? Right there, okay. I'm gonna need to pick up some building sand and some cement for tonight's patio laying session. I don't know why I said it like that. crashing into everything oh my god so heavy so everything is out of the shed ready to start on the patio slabs and the pathway so let's give you a before so this is what it looks like before obviously everything's a bit loose needs to be laid down leveled out I'm dressed appropriately for this. I've got my black woolly jumper on, my uh, work suit trousers, and also my my outdoor slippers. Uh, first things first, I need to clean this that's on the floor. I think I can hear a bee, or a bee's nest or something. Can you hear that? This is what it currently looks like. If you're thinking about downsizing your shed, I would definitely recommend this shed. This is what it looks like. And basically, we're just gonna put it like flat against that fence. And I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little time lapse on of me filling up the shed and then I'll show you again. So that's everything back into the shed. We don't actually keep our like valuables in our shed because there are some uh, weird people and not very nice people who will break into your shed and try and steal your stuff. So we keep all of our like valuables inside and we just keep stuff in here that um, like, I, would, I want to say that we won't be bothered if it got nicked, but 
I probably would be bothered if it got nicked. <laughs> now I need to put the bench and the table back onto the decking. Now the table is so heavy, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And there we go, I got a splinter in the meantime and the bench scared me when it squeaked. So Ellen's cleared everything away, good job. Thanks. Actually, I haven't even seen the footage yet. Did you uh, record for like a month? Yeah, it's a bit higgledy-piggledy and I also tried to move the camera a few times to get some cool shots, so. Okay, <laughs> getting the angles. <laughs> oh, yikey. I don't like I did yesterday because I had the same hairstyle yesterday. It looks good, I like that hairstyle. Thanks, Seriously. do you know what, the kids in my class <laughs> Miss Rani, you have nice hair today. Oh, really? Yeah, so That's I wore nice. it again. See, compliments, even from what, a five-year-old. So when I compliment you, it doesn't matter, but when the five-year-old... Yeah, because see, if a five-year-old compliments you, it means you, know you actually look real, really yeah, nice, because they will also tell you if you look awful. Apologies if it's a bit windy. We're obviously outside, but we are now going to clean all of the garden, because everything's away back in the shed, but the patio slabs are... Is that the right word? Yeah patio slabs are very messy and so is the astroturf so we're gonna brush it all and then put some sand over the slabs to fill the little cracks aren't we mm -hmm. and then give this wood a little wipe give the deck in a full clean and we've got yeah. some stones to put up by the where the patio is yeah and that's about it then yeah isn't it yeah come on then We've lost our Stanley knife, so yes, yeah, that is a pair of kitchen scissors that we're using to cut this last bit of grass. I got fed up of brushing, so I'm going to try our old Hoover and hope it doesn't rip up the grass, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're filming this outside hopefully it's not too windy but it's a beautiful day so we're just gonna chill out here for a bit so the garden is would you say it's complete now it's done, yeah. it's done. yes what a relief <laughs> oh my god do you know what in the final little bits that we had to do that was very testing of our relationship why why today have we been so like nothing's gone to plan is it no. we've been bickering all day but we're fine now <laughs> we're fine now it's just bickering. It's just this last little bit of the garden was so stressful for some reason. The transformation is actually crazy and we're not going to show you like before and afters in this video because we're going to do a whole video showing you the before and the afters, the transformation. And the yeah, going through the cost of everything. So if you've got a similar sized garden and you want to do the same, you can figure it out then. What we've got left to do is the barbecue area, which is going to be up on the slabs near the doors need to buy a barbecue well, no, it's not going to go near the doors is it no it's going to come away from the house but yeah it's going to be up in that area we just need to buy a barbecue and figure out how i want it to look i might do like a mini little decking or like some you know some lighter slabs or something different just to break that area up also a big thing that we haven't done but that we're going to do is electrics so we're going to run Mm. cables down to the deck in it'll be easy run. enough yeah it'll be easy enough for us to do in the future my dad can help us we'll just pull up a few decking boards it'll be easy wires. enough to do i'll get my, dad to help yeah us. it's not going to be easy for me but it'll be easy for my dad <laughs> um but 
we haven't done that yet because there were so many other things going on we just want to focus on that in the future don't we mm. and because it's like coming into summer we don't need lights just yet because it's light it's going to be light till like half nine ten what else is there anything else we wanted to work on yeah. what's your favorite part of it here here yeah i'm Do so you know glad what? we've got this here because of the the sun the sun when we first were looking at designs of the garden we were worried because you, you only because of how big the shed was where we are now is exactly where our shed used to be yeah and that used to take all of the sun we've got a north facing garden so to be fair three quarters of our garden does get sun doesn't it <laughs> oh my god i need to get used to that bees yeah now that we've got flowers here there's going to be bees what <laughs> it's what Ellen. that is no. the worst thing to do just keep still Worst thing to do, you tell me why I've never been stung then. <laughs> that's the worst thing. I bet you've been stung, haven't you? Yes. And I bet it was, you know, oh, just stay still, they won't hurt you. No, it wasn't. Stung. Gone. I've never been stung because you run. What can do you, you run? Whoever tells you to stay still, they're lying. <laughs> I can't believe how much bigger the garden looks. It looks like a complete different space, don't you think? Before yeah. it was like, it felt really small. Like it looks huge now. It does look massive now, doesn't it? Yeah, because we've extended the patio. We've like utilized the space really well, I think. Yeah, we have. And the fact that we've moved the path over to the middle, it just looks mm. way more symmetrical, way more usable. It's yeah, absolutely buzzing with how it turned out. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's that's it for this episode. Like I said, we'll show you the, the before and afters in the next video and go through costing. But thank you to everyone who's offered us advice and supported the series. It's gone down really well, hasn't it? And it's been fun to make, to like film everything. It's been stressful yeah. in certain parts, but I mean, <laughs> nothing worth getting. No, nothing worth doing having. comes easy. Nothing worth having comes easy. And that's a good saying yeah. to go by. Yeah. Uh, you've got to work for these sorts of things, haven't you? Yeah. And yeah, we're just very happy that we've done it now. If you're thinking about doing a garden do yourself, it. bloody do it. If do you've it. got family if you've to got, help. If you've got the time and the patience and... Yeah, you need you need the patience. And I think we work well together because most of the time... I do we everything don't stress and he it. films everything. That is, that's not true. <laughs> All right? We it work, is. we're like yin and yang. Is that the good one? Yeah, I do everything and you no, just you stand and look pretty and pass me names. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. We've got to say a massive thank you to our family for helping us out. We wouldn't have been able to do it in the time frame that we did without them. Um, and it would have cost us thousands of pounds if we were to hire someone to do like a decking and pagoda like this, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Um, and also to my brother for coming and helping with everything and his friend Blob. He did all of our slabs and he didn't even charge us for it. Someone's ringing me. Is this this? Jack by water. Hello, Hiya, mate. You're right. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, thank you, mate. I'm just filming something. So you're in. You're in a YouTube video. Am I? Oh, okay. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> right. That is the end of this episode. As a thank you to anyone who supported, we're gonna roll a little montage of all of the lovely comments that we've had. So thank you for your support. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, hit like, and we will catch you in the next video. Bye.